morning and welcome to another vlog. Sorry it's been a while since I put the last one out. It's been probably about four or five weeks since I put a video out just with the run up to Christmas, uh, preparations and stuff, work, family, uh, shopping. It's just been a bit busy so apologies for that but I've uh, come out in between Christmas and New Year. Um, actual fact you probably wouldn't recognise me. I've probably put on two stones since Christmas so um, and you might have noticed, I've got a new jacket. Yeah, Santa's bought me a new Rab jacket, nice and warm. You're a bit fed up with that grey thing, and I'm sure you're getting fed up with watching me uh, wandering around the countryside in a grey jacket, so I've got a nice blue one. So yeah, so here I am, as you may see in the background, back in the fence, back in the flat fence. Thought I'd come back to the heart of the fence to uh, do another vlog for you guys. So. I'm going to wander, my backpack doesn't stop bloody falling off. I'm going to wander around uh, an area that I know quite well today. It's a place called Upwell, which is quite near Wispage in the Fens, and it's a place I was born and bred in, so I should know this area quite well. Um, can you hear them? It's nice, isn't it? So I'm going to take you around up well in the neighbouring fens um, just to see what we can find today. I was hoping, as I always hope when I come out and never get it right for some decent weather, um, it took a bit of low cloud this morning, hoping what we might get a bit of mist or a bit of fog, but nah, never works out unfortunately. But never mind, so it's a grey day in the fens. Uh, it might break up a little bit later on, we'll have to wait and see. As I've said before in previous vlogs, the greyness and matches the bleakness of the fens anyway so so let's see how we get on today um could be a black and white day who knows you see those wind farms in the background look typical of the fens these days so flat here places full of wind turbines anyway i'm gonna see what i can take pictures of and if they're any good i should show them to you see you in a bit Not bad. Um, so yeah, where I am now, I'm taking a shot of uh, these four trees, little trees, and as you can see, the river is flat, really flat, like a mill pond this morning. There's no wind whatsoever. This is actually the Well Creek. Um, goes up to March Riverside that way, and um, at a place called Marmont Priory here. Um, there's a little lock just behind me, or just behind you, rather, where you're standing. Uh, and this this goes all the way through to uh, Upwell and Outwell. I'll take you around there later so you can see the Well Creek, but um, one of the many little drains in the fens, which I talked about in a previous video, which I'll link to. Um, so you can have a look at that if you want to. But yeah, anyway, back to this shot. Um, as you say, as I said, flat uh, river, trees, really nice reflections of the trees in the flat river, creek bending around there to the right. I've took a couple, I've took one just then of just the trees there. I've got my 24 to 70 on, um, no filters today, it doesn't really need it, it's grey. Um, I want the reflections so I don't want a polarizer on. Uh, so yeah, I've taken one of just the trees and I've taken one a bit further back just to get this bench in here as well, a bit of, add a bit of foreground interest. Uh, yeah, I think as I said earlier, I think these will be black and whites because it is grey and there isn't a lot of colour to bring out in the shot, so I think they'll probably be black and white shots, but they could be quite nice black and white shots. And if I do get a bit of light coming through the clouds and make the sky a bit more interesting, um, I can make some use of it because the big thing about the fens is the big skies. So if I don't get a chance today, I shall do another vlog in the future uh, about big skies in the fens because if you want to come anywhere to see flat landscapes, big skies, it's the fens. And on a stormy day, um, you can't get much more dramatic than uh, the big skies of the fens. So yeah, that's one for another day because I really don't think it's going to be um, that 
atmospheric today in the sky. So yeah, I hope these come out okay. As I said, probably be black and white. If they are, and I like them, I'll post them up. We can have a look now. Right, there's a, there's a lone tree in the middle of the fence. I must admit that uh, I can't claim to have found this uh, by accident uh, and I've stolen probably not this composition but I've stolen the tree there's a lady that I found um, online who is a photographer in this neck of the woods a lady called Katie Jane photography I'll put a link to her website below um, she's got loads and loads of photographs of the fence that she's taken so I found her online and I went across some of her images and found found this tree um, I think the way she took it was using a different composition to this actually the one I've just taken uh, and on a, a misty day which sets the tree off but uh, anyway it's a nice tree uh, <laughs> as trees go I guess it's a nice tree um, yeah the thing I like about this composition here actually there's a puddle um, puddle do you get a puddle in the middle of a field the track that's got loads of water in it it's hardly a puddle uh, but it actually gives quite a nice reflection of the tree so what I've done that I've actually set up a composition here with the uh, the tree and then the reflection in this water uh, and then you've got cabbages I think yeah I'm not sure what what these things here are um, I should know but I suppose there's some type of a calabrese um, anyway yeah so tree reflection the puddle quite a nice composition um, I took another one actually just uh, a little while ago with uh, with this ditch here as well. You can see there's a ditch that uh, grows all the way down into the tree. Nice leading line. So yeah, it's all right. Hope it comes out all right. And if it is, I'll post it up now. Just taking another one actually. The, uh, this composition here with the I'm gonna find out what these are I'm gonna ask my dad he'll know I'll take a picture and ask my dad he'll know exactly what they are I think they, they're some type of a cabbage or a cauliflower or something um, these in the foreground actually leading up to the tree with the um, with the curve there and another little puddle thing there yeah look at this place though if you look around me look in the background how flat this is Landscape photography dream, this place. Everywhere you look, it's flat. And lovely wind turbines in the distance. Right, I'm gonna head and try and find some more. Okay, so I've been driving around for a couple of hours trying to find something because it's really hard to try and find a composition out here because it is so flat and bleak. But it's brightened up a little bit and the clouds have got some nice definition in now. And I've just come across this row of trees. So I thought I'd, uh, I'd try a, a panoramic shot of the trees. I would very rarely do panoramic shots, so I don't know how it will come out. We'll have a go. So I've taken a panoramic shot of the trees and then I've just taken these trees here really low in the frame uh, and just kept the sky in so the majority of this shot is sky with the row of trees along the bottom and I actually think it quite it looks quite nice um, as you can see I don't know if you can see or not but there's a there's a little bit of color at the bottom of the sky over there as well with some wind turbines but uh, it looks all right so yeah um, hopefully it'll come out okay we'll see <laughs> Okay, swap lens, put the 70-200 on now because I've just focused in on those last three trees at the end of the row there 
and just those three trees, bottom of the frame, majority of the frame sky, uh, nice little orange hue on the bottom of the horizon and I think I can probably bring some of that definition of the sky out as well in post so hopefully that will look okay as well. tea and while I have a cup of tea what I thought I'd do is show you some of my favorite images that I've taken this year um, so coming up to the end of the year I've really had a great year photography wise and videography wise I've started my vlogs uh, this is I think the eighth vlog um, and yeah I've really enjoyed doing these things it gets me out and it uh, gets me learning new things, videography as well as photography and then the editing as well, I've really enjoyed it. So yeah, I thought I'd take a quick look back over um, some of the vlogs and some of the images I took earlier in the year and show you some of the favourite images that I've taken. Hopefully you like them too. Here they come. Okay, so coffee in the back of the car is becoming a bit of a trademark for me by the looks of it. So I thought I'd round off, um, end of the year, hope you've enjoyed today. Uh, back out in the fens again as I said I'd do. Uh, I want to do a few more with the big skies as I said earlier on, I think that would be good to do that. I was hoping for mist and fog today, didn't get it, so again that's another vlog coming up with some mist and fog. But yeah, it's been nice to get out, it's just been nice to get out and about after Christmas. Um, really had a great Christmas, but it's always good to get out some fresh air, a bit of exercise. So I hope you enjoyed it and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Um, please like the video if you've liked it. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not a subscriber of mine already. Hit the notification bell so you'll get notified of any future videos. And I look forward to uh, seeing you in 2019. See you soon. <laughs>